Was it bad? Ah, stop oh, that's, it! That's good. That was unexpected. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's a striped racer. <laughs> Holy sh! still in Tucson and uh, looks like we have really good coverage today so I'm heading out to go look for snakes again. I'm gonna go to a place that's a little bit further away uh, to look for Arizona black rattlesnakes hopefully emerging from their dens. All right so I am here finally. It took a long time to get here. A lot of dirt roads and bumpy times and now I'm getting through all the cat claw to get to the first little den. So this Arizona black rattlesnake den is not all that big, um, but that's fine because I'm hoping to see some out. Coming up in the first place now, if I see something, I'll let you know. I see one. It's coming out that crevice. Oh, there's two. There's two of them right there. Holy crap, okay. We gotta pay attention. That big black rattlesnake was just <laughs> like under this bush that I sat down to look under. Wow, okay. Well, I've always thought that this crevice would have snakes in it. I've never seen one here before, so that's cool. I just gotta remember what I'm doing. Hey everyone, headed to a call in Paradise Valley. A lady has a coach whip under a little mini fridge that she has in her garage. She tried to get it a few times, but uh, her her grippers, I don't know what she's using to get it, but she said they kept slipping and coach whips are really fast. So I can understand that. So wish me luck. Hello. I almost had it twice. Oh yeah. Did they're fast. Coach whips are really hard with tongs. Yeah, they, it likely will bite. It's under this thing? Yeah. It's on this side, you said? It was on that side last one. The last you saw. Is there any way I'm to move this fridge a little? Yeah, or? I can. Oh, there he is. Yep. It is a good long one. Ah, don't bite my face. <laughs> What's it called? It's called a coach whip. A what now? Coach whip. They're fast ones. And it's a, oh, was it bad? Ah, stop oh, wow. it. That's not good. They bite, they're really bitey snakes. Stop it, stop it. It didn't hurt? Uh, I mean, it doesn't feel good, but yeah, <laughs> stop it. Fiction. Do you want me to put them over there? The bucket's faster. Stop it. Stop it. You're just snotty. They're really fast. But yeah, you want. That when I was smelling, the strong smell. Yeah, smelling. he'll they'll musk. Yeah. He will? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a it's an adult, it's a it's a younger one. They could get quite large. Yeah. They could yeah. get it pretty big. So small when it first Look at your fan, young lady. Uh yeah, they it tore me up. Sorry about that. You wanna put him in your garden, you said? Uh, I think I'll just put him over the wall. You're like, he's too mean. Yeah. <laughs> he's gotta go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, they're good. They eat rattlesnakes. I know. This so kind does. Well, this pup. Successful pop, pop, pop. Yeah. Okay. So funny when I walked right by it. Oh, dude, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why they're so feisty. Go up in there. And now you're just going to hang out. Yeah, it'll go. Freedom. He's gone. See you, bud. You want to go? Yeah. <laughs> Coach whips? No, I've had um, to wash you up. Uh, sure, thank you. All right, well, it happened. My first snake bite of the season, and uh, it was a coach whip. So I kind of thought it was going to happen with this coach whip because it's so hard to go in with tongs on a coach whip. They're so fast, and they just they are able to get away. I didn't want to grip him and hurt the snake, you know? So I'd rather risk, you know, getting bit and grabbing him with my hands than squeeze the snake too tight. Um, but it's not a big deal. Let me show you. Uh, so I, I washed my hand off inside, um, so it's not bloody anymore, but just little scratches and whatnot. The knuckles kind of hurt the worst when they bite that. Like if they get in between your fingers, that's like holy. But other than that, it really doesn't, doesn't hurt that bad. Uh, and she let me release it in her yard because she knows it's a great snake to have around so uh yeah that was awesome oh there's one there's usually one sitting there that's a little female you can see it on the hole right there 
the crevice is all the ways away from here, so that's always interesting. There's always a little female here. <laughs> all right, it's gotten a lot hotter than expected, so I think I'm gonna call it for the day. I'll we'll probably squeeze out a few more snakes if I really put in a lot of effort, but I got a long drive back to Tucson, so I'm happy, I'm gonna call it good. Tomorrow I'm on the line down there, so it should be a fun day. I'm out here looking for dens and they're already out. <laughs> Here's a black rattlesnake crossing the road. Come here, buddy. Well, I'm gonna take some photos of this. That was unexpected. Very cool. So if this snake that's under my hat right now is moving, the den has to be right here somewhere. And I actually have a pin of a rock right over the top of this little rise that I looked at at one point and rejected. It didn't look very good, but I mean, there's a snake crawling out. So they are dispersing. And even though I didn't find any snakes at that rock pile right there, it has to be a den. That's exciting. All right, well, I'm gonna get some photos of this guy. I was just getting out of here. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a bonus. All right, got my photos. I'm gonna let him go on his way. I'm gonna make sure he's going in the direction that I found him going. I am gonna have to take a few minutes here to investigate. Give that rock pile another shot, see if uh, any other snakes are there. They may not be. Maybe that's why, is that they've left already. Yeah, that's gonna be a den. Not sure if any other snakes are here still, but look at that. Oh, yep. One just buzzed me in there. Let's see if I can get eyes on it. Probably not gonna be able to because it's in that hole. But that's how this works. Was this leaving? A snake was crossing a road. Pulled up a map and did the math. And now I have a den. I just found another snake. That always feels good. All right, I'm gonna get some data and I'm gonna get back on the road because I still have to get back to Tucson. It's really hard though. I know there's, I know there's probably other snakes here. And one more thing, if you look in there, there's a little baby black rattlesnake. Maybe that is a baby of the one I saw crossing the road, who knows? Oh, there's an adult. Oh, they're still in here. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's a striped racer. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Let's see how many you got here. There's a big adult right there. I'm not sure if you can see this at all. Big adult black rattlesnake right there. There's another big adult rattlesnake right there. And another one behind it, and another one. Holy crap, and then there's a baby. This crevice, oh, there's another one. See those scales? And there's the striped racer right there. Oh my God. I'm just trying to leave, guys. Will you stop being cool and making me want to find you? Wow. So how many have we got? Striped racer, and then one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the one that went down. Seven. That is cool as hell. <laughs> yeah, now I'm really gonna go. Never mind, I went to the rock right next door, and there are three more. Oh, sorry, guy. So that one snake very quickly turned into 11. Well, 12 snakes if you count the racer. That's, I like that. I don't know what else to say. That's just the, uh, those are the, the best kinds of experiences doing this. And the cool thing is that because these are dens, I can always come back and look at these animals. They're always gonna be here.